Hey everybody, it's Bill with Iron Good Equipment. <clears throat> so we just got it done with a job that came in today and uh, the lady needed it um, done by the end of the day. So we went and did it. <clears throat> she's moving, uh, had a bunch of stuff that she didn't want to take as she's downsizing. So we went over there and it turns out she was a, she sold China sets on eBay. So she had 30 or 40 boxes of China. Um, we don't take anything to the landfill. Um, we are located in Seacoast, New Hampshire. We service all the Seacoast and we'll even go beyond that uh, depending on what the job is. Um, and uh, people in this area are very environmentally conscious. So we don't take anything to the landfill. We take, we go do the job. Um, if it's something that's super, super valuable, we'll sell it. Uh, but most of the time we take things to Savers um, and Habitat Home Store as both of those companies have a good reputation of actually using that money for good instead of being like a goodwill that uh, gives a lot of their money to their CEOs and so on and so forth. So, uh, everything she gave me was donatable. So we're going down to Savers now. Uh, we're going to donate it all to Savers and we'll see if they take it all. Um, kind of see how much we're going to be able to give today. Uh, if they take, uh, most of the stuff, we will see if the remaining things apply to Habitat Home Store and if they do we'll try to take them over there and see if they can use them. So uh, for now I'll let you guys go and I'll start the video back up whenever we get to Savers and uh, see if we can donate a bunch of stuff today. Uh, I'll see you there. All right, guys, we're here at Habitat Home Store, dropping some donations off. So uh, I was gonna take video at Savers, but the guy was kind of being an asshole, so I didn't want to do it. You want me to bring it all the way in, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Set it on top of that. Thank you. But uh, well, it's a little dirty. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. Now, I seen... Well, he made me unload the whole truck by myself at Savers, so really? that's why it took me 45 minutes. I've seen all the tune heads and yep. all like that's good stuff. I could use it. Right so. the lamp. These? You, did you want that? Yeah, we can take that. Okay. Sorry guys for the shitty video. Uh, I came too late. So these guys are trying to go home and uh I'm holding them up. So The bolts are in them. Awesome, thank you. So we got everything donated but the mattresses. I broke the dang glass. I don't know what that is. Do you want me to grab you a broom so you can get the little pieces real quick? This is all going to the dump anyways. Okay, I'll just... I appreciate it though. No Thanks a lot, guys. Sorry about that. Hey guys, thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. All right guys, so, so we got everything donated. It keeps it out of the landfill. Somebody that's a little less fortunate can get a hold of it and have some nice stuff. So I uh, just came from Savers. The guy was being a jerk. Made me unload the whole truck by myself. But we dropped off 30 boxes of antique china <clears throat> i don't know anything about antique china so i'm not trying to get online and sell it i'm sure there's somebody else that does um my guy that does online sales and flea markets and uh facebook marketplace and all that he doesn't like to do with dishes because they take a long time to sell so 
We brought him to Savers. I should have brought him here because these guys were way better than Savers. So, but the lady was an antique uh, China salesperson. She sold it on eBay. She would buy it from thrift shops and sell it on eBay. So she had a whole room devoted to China. So to each his own, we got it taken care of. We got some mattresses left over. Uh, it pains me to throw them in the dump because these are brand new mattresses. They've never been out of the plastic. But I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. I mean, <clears throat> it is what it is. I don't know who, who would, I don't know. So anyways, I'm wasting your time now. I'm going to head back to the house. We got another day done. And uh, we did good today. This has been our best week. Uh, this has been our best week yet. So we've done $4,000 days in a row. Uh, who knew? That's all I can say. I don't know. I guess maybe I was selling myself short. Maybe I was selling the... The idea of this business short, I don't know, but I had no idea and I had not nearly the expectation that this has turned out to be. So we're rocking and rolling. While I was doing this job, I got four estimate requests. So I just put three estimates out, two were accepted, one hasn't gotten back to me yet. So hopefully by tomorrow morning, I've got a full day of work and uh, we're back at it. Um, actually, I might take the day off tomorrow and kick them all to Sunday. Uh, I'm not sure yet. So uh, a tree fell on my mom's house yesterday. So uh, they cut the tree up. I'm gonna go over there tomorrow, pick it all up and take it to the, to the dump. So I may not have time to do any jobs tomorrow, but we'll see you guys later and uh, if you're looking for junk removal on the seacoast of New Hampshire, call your premier junk removal service, Iron Goat Equipment. Locally owned, veteran owned, firefighter owned. Take care. Bye.